Okay, so next thing, we're going to test each tool. I've got tool one in the spindle. It should say tool one right here. Another important thing that when you're setting your Z zero up here, make sure tool zero is in the spindle. So I'm going to go ahead and manually put tool one in there and hit enter right now. So that just goes and references what the H number is and displays the value right there. Okay, so go to manual data input. I've already tested this. G0, move it rapid. G54, which is fixture offset one. G43, in state tool length compensation. H number matches the tool number in the spindle. H1, T1, makes sense. X0, Y0, so I'm also checking my fixture offset or my datum. And Z at three inches. So I set my X0, Y0 to the center of this hole. And I'm going to check it with a 1, 2, 3 block off of here for height. So as soon as I hit enter, this thing will run. There it is, right in the center of the part. I'm going to grab my 1, 2, 3 block, check my Z. Pretty well perfect. So that is how you will set multiple tool lengths on this. For me it's the best way. Nice thing about this is now if I put a different part in my vise or if I just set it on the table, however I do it, all I need to do is go back and touch my spindle nose not the collet again, the spindle nose, to the top of the part and set my fixture offset Z0 and go ahead and run your program. I hope this is helpful. Good luck. And remember, always manually check your tool lengths before you run any program.